Kay Quinn is a familiar face in the New England music scene, not because of the music he makes, but for the music he paints. It's what I do, I just paint music. It's fun being part of the fabric of an event. You know, I, I blur the line between artist and performance artist because I'm painting a performance, but I'm also putting on a show. He started his live painting in coffee shops in 1993 and has been following the beat ever since. Ever since I was a kid, I've always been drawing. It was either had a book in my hand or a sketchbook. And uh, yeah, I just have this need to capture the music. The first initial thing is just throw it down, automatic. I just, I just, I don't know, I just go into automatic mode and tunnel vision and just paint the band and then see what happens. Paint splattered hands, signature top hat and beard, Steve's been painting live music for over 30 years. At this point, I probably painted anywhere between two to three thousand hours of live music closing in on a hundred festivals it's too many shows to count and i only go to places that i can paint so that rules out going to all these overpriced corporate events anyways so i just paint the local people make them feel like rock stars Layer after layer, Steve's paintings evolve as the set does. The piece often finishing at the same time as the music. I mean, I never know what I'm gonna get. I have no idea before I start. You know, sometimes I don't even know who the band is. I and mean, if I do know who the band is, I never painted them the same way twice. I just wanted to catch the music before it disappears. Concerts are a hard place to sit and chat, so we met up with Steve on a rainy Monday at his friends Trish and Don's Catamount Bus Stop in Pittsfield. She was the first bus I ever painted back in 2017, and that's where I met, probably met Trish and Don, it would probably be Jerry Jam. They were like legendary. Well, you were always painting down front, and I'm like, why don't you come up and do something different? Sunday morning, come on up. <laughs> and that's what we did. If it's in front of him, Steve will paint it. I've painted everything I've done. Gospel groups and punk bands and a cappella and heavy metal. I even did a, a deathcore band. I think that's the term. I'm not sure. But I had no idea what I was painting. It was the guy was growling into the microphone and... You know, it was like a 20 minute set and they were all drenched in sweat because they were just, oh yeah, it was interesting. He's even drawn scenes from his hospital bed. Due to some scary health complications, he spent months in the hospital in 2021, worried he may have painted his last live show. Last year, I tried to go back to doing what I was doing, but I was still walking around with the four wheel walker. And I thought I could go out and do my stuff cause just sitting down, but it's a lot more to it than just doing that. Cause I couldn't unload, I couldn't set up, I couldn't even open my chair. So I was like, am I done? 25 years of festivals and 30 years of painting, is this it? <laughs> Steve is now on his comeback tour, making his way to the stage, well, just off stage, where the music and paintbrush are dancing again and where everyone knows his name. 
when I'm like Jerry Jam, and I'm up in the front, and there'll be 200 people behind me, but I don't even notice them. But you can feel it though, when everybody's dancing and, and all that energy, and you got the bass speakers right in front of me, and I just want to react to the music. And that's how they sell, because people can't believe that just happened in front of them. And then uh, maybe you're dating someone in the band, or it's your husband, or it's your favorite band in the world. Now all of a sudden, there's that picture. It wasn't there before, but you just watched it happen. Steve loves when he can hand his canvas off to a customer, paint still wet, and watch them take it all in. Watching people show up, their picture. You know, you see them, they're out of earshot, and there's six or seven people around, and everybody's got to play who's who and figure out which person's where, because this is not how they look on stage. They got to fit in like a puzzle. And the bands feel like they're rock stars, so that's always cool, too, when they tell me that. I've, I've been told that so many times, you know, it's almost like a cliche. But it's true, though. They, everybody's a rock star, the world just doesn't know it yet. <laughs>